Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and it is part two of talking about passwords. So the last one, the last video I did was the worst passwords you could use because they're used by everybody. But of course that doesn't answer a question that is of course very important and that is um, how do I create a good password and how do I go about remembering these passwords. That is probably a big problem for a lot of people. Now in this uh, world of internet we have password managers that can be used. Password managers are great because they let you do really good passwords but you don't have to remember them. Somebody else remembers them for you which is very helpful and a lot of people actually use these password managers successfully and really enjoy using them and there are quite a good uh, a few good password managers out there and we'll have a video talking about some of the best password managers some of the most popular and uh, why people use them but if you don't want to use you know third-party password managers or anything special there are things that you need to know about a password first of all today and I'm not joking a password should be at least 12 characters long. 12. So, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with just 5, that's not enough. Uh, passwords should not use dictionary words. So, if you're thinking about, you know, using attenuation as a password, yeah, it's, you know, a, a longer password and it might seem to you that it's not obvious, but it is because it's a word known in the dictionary. The best password should have numbers, letters, upper lower case, and of course uh, random characters. That is probably what the best password could be. So basically that makes it very difficult to remember because if you have a random set of characters it gets very tough to uh, remember something. But a little trick that I use um, that could be used by others is using a dictionary world but having a personal rule of what you could change. Let's go back to attenuation. Okay, I talked about this word um, in a, a minute ago. Now that's not a good password. It's a password because it it's it's a calendar. It's com coming from the dictionary. It's an official word. But you can transform this into something unique. For example, you can make yourself a rule. You can say that every time there's a e, it will equal a three because it looks like an e, but in reverse. So. There are things like that you can do. You might say, oh, T's will equal 7. And how about the I could equal the exclamation point? Use this rule, okay? And now let's type attenuation in this new rule of characters. So, first character, I'll put it uppercase. Now T is 7 at A77. Of course, if we continue in that rule, E equals 3. Then you have new Asian. Maybe you could set a rule that the first character after the numbers that you have in a word could also be uppercase. If you just remember the rule, you'll be able to remember your passwords because the rule will for you be the same all the time. So at 10 new A7 exclamation mark for the uh, letter I how about another rule O equals 0. So I'll put 0 instead of an O and end with N. So now you've got a seven seven three n u a seven exclamation mark zero n. 
How about that? That doesn't look like a, um, you know, password from the dictionary. It's very unique. And because you make your own rule, your specific rule for yourself, well, those rules will be different for different people. Some people will change other characters into other types of, um, of, of, of characters. But if you remember that rule, you'll always know that the first letter is a um, uppercase, that the first letter that you encounter after the first set of numbers or the number, because depending on what the word is, is uppercase. And you do little things like change the, uh, you know, I to an exclamation mark. The O could become a zero. And other rules can be set with that. Um, you know, depending on the letters you use, you can say that S will equal five. They look alike. And look at what your brain sees. So attenuation here. And look at how your brain tends to see attenuation here too. So you actually know the word. The only thing you need to remember is the rule. And then you can actually apply this rule to every other words that you use. Now this one is three, six, nine, eleven. It's short of twelve characters, but it's still a much better password than using attenuation and a much better password than whatever you've seen on that list. So these are some of the rules that you can apply. And once you remember those rules, well, you'll remember the passwords. And people will look at this and say, what the hell is that weird password? But in your head, you'll know it's, oh, that's attenuation, but with my own, uh, you know, take on it. And of course, you can add stuff. It could be uh, a different set of rules. You can add rules that give you characters that are different in a certain way. Or you can add a character before or after. Um, all sorts of rules can be set here. The only thing you'll have to remember is the rule, because the words themselves are going to be easy for you to remember. And last but not least, if you have passwords on different accounts, yes, unfortunately, the best practice is to have different passwords in different accounts. Why? Well, you've seen all the hacks going by with the uh, different websites. Well, if they scoop up a password at one place, then they know your password everywhere. That's why different passwords will help you a lot in staying safe. So these are little tips and tricks in trying to make uh, your life a little easier in passwords and remembering passwords uh, on uh, your different accounts. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.